This problem asks us to identify X in some nuclear reactions. In the first reaction, part A, we have a hydrogen 1 atom and a beryllium 9 atom reacting to form the mystery particle X and a lone neutron represented by the lowercase n. Because of how charge and mass are both conserved in reactions, we'll have to calculate the amount of charge and mass in the initial particles and compare that to our results right here on the right side of the chemical equation. This is where it's really helpful to have a periodic table handy, or at least some sort of chart that tells you the atomic number, or the number of protons or electrons in the neutral form of any atom. With hydrogen, we can see from this leftward superscript that this particular hydrogen has a mass of 1 Dalton, or atomic mass unit, AMU. Because an atom's atomic mass is based on the number of both the protons and the neutrons, this means that there is exactly one proton, since all hydrogen atoms have exactly one proton and one electron to balance it out. We also know that there are no neutrons, because otherwise the mass number would be larger, because any neutrons in the hydrogen atom would add on to the mass number. In beryllium, there is always four protons and four electrons. Since our mass number here is nine, that means there must be five additional neutrons to add to that mass number. Now, all of these numbers are adding up and should correspond to our total values on the right side of the chemical formula. The hydrogen has one proton and the beryllium has four protons, so our resulting particles should together have a total of five protons. The neutron doesn't have any protons, so all five of our protons are part of this singular atom, the X. The atom with an atomic number of five is boron, so let's say, uh, I'm defining X here, let's say that it's uh, B, which is the symbol for boron, since that's what the atom has to be. Uh, we'll also have to determine the mass number, however. Uh, since we have zero neutrons on the hydrogen and five neutrons on the beryllium, we should have a total of five neutrons on the right side of the equation. Now, one of those neutrons is separating on its own, being lost to the right here, and so only four neutrons have been added to the boron. So let's add that to the five protons we have here, and our mass number of boron is nine, meaning that X is a boron nine atom. In part B, we're adding a carbon-12 atom and a hydrogen-1 atom, transforming it into just X. Let's first find out what the atom is. Once again, based on the periodic table, or on charts to which you hopefully have access, there are six protons always in carbon, and one proton in hydrogen. That's a total of seven protons, so the resulting atom will be uh, whatever has seven protons, which is nitrogen or N. Since carbon has a mass number of 12, that means that the carbon here has six neutrons, since six of those units already come from the number of protons, and once again, the hydrogen atom has no neutrons at all. That six total neutrons that should be in our result here, added to the seven protons that a nitrogen atom always has. So our nitrogen atom has a mass of 13 Daltons. In part C, we have a nitrogen-15 and a hydrogen-1 adding up and transforming into a helium-4 and our X. Nitrogen has an atomic number of 7 and hydrogen-1, so a total of 8 protons should be shared among the resulting atoms. Of course, helium already has 2 of those, so X should only have 6 protons, meaning that it's carbon. The hydrogen atom doesn't have any neutrons, once again, and the nitrogen atom looks like it has eight neutrons, so there should be eight neutrons shared among the rightmost atoms. Two of those are being added to the helium atom to make it a helium-4, and the other six are going to add on to the carbon-6's protons, giving this carbon-6 atom a total mass of 12 atomic mass units.